morning and welcome back to a brand new video excuse my appearance i have just woke up and we had a little bit of a rough night last night with both the kids they just kept waking up and then lennox thought it'd be fun to have a 5 30 a.m wake up call so he's currently just sat in his chair nelly has gone back down to sleep so i'm gonna try and drink my cup of tea and nelly is actually still in bed i don't know whether she's asleep or just kind of led there summer should be back between 9 and 10 she has been away so we'll have a little catch up with her and see how her weekend was but plans for today really we are popping over to see my nan at some point today lennox is trying to climb out of his chair bud buddy sit down sit down good boy don't look at me like that good boy the plans are to go over and see my grandparents sometime this afternoon haven't seen them for a little while and kind of just have a bit of a tidy up as always i mean it's not too bad most of it got done yesterday yesterday i popped out i popped into town i had my depot injection yesterday which she wasn't going to go ahead with because I have been suffering with migraines since I've had it and sickness and nausea and even though the depot is very safe so she kind of was happy for me to go ahead but at the same time she was like if you don't want to go ahead with the next one then we can not and we can get an appointment with the GP but I said I'm happy to have the next one because they're kind of the only side effects that I've really been having. But if they continue, then I will have to go speak to the GP and see what's going on because I've had my eyes tested, so I know my migraines kind of aren't related to that. In regards to the sickness and stuff, she couldn't really say what it could be. Obviously, I have taken a test just in case, and that was negative. So we know it's not that, but yesterday I had it in my left side and honestly it was so painful i've got literally like a dead bum cheek this morning i don't know what it is i was saying to my sister because she waxed my legs the other day as well but i have a higher pain tolerance on my right side than i do my left anything on my left side eyebrows waxing injections everything hurts a lot more on the left side which is so bizarre i'm sorry if you can hear chuck and ten in the background joys of being a parent yeah like i have really low pain tolerance on my left side which is so bizarre so i did all that this morning and then i had uh, yesterday morning sorry and then i took a wander into town popped into poundland had to go to savers and grab some more dummies because nelly is just constantly chewing through them but we're doing really well we're taking the dummy away during the day and she was only having it for like nap times and bedtime so it seems to be working really really well at the moment and then yesterday I met up with my mum, we had coffee, had breakfast, and then I literally came home and chilled. I did actually plan on vlogging yesterday, but I just didn't feel like it. Like I'm really struggling at the moment because obviously I don't really go anywhere, don't really do anything, don't really have many updates right now. Like I just don't have anything to share with you guys, but because we are actually going out today, um, I thought I would pick up the camera. But yeah, they're kind of like the plans for today. Just kind of a chilled one. Weather is actually freezing cold outside today. We're supposed to have like this massive heat wave this week. But yesterday and today it's been pretty cold. So, hi, have you come to say hello? Have you come to say hello? Say hi. Say good morning, everybody. Say good morning, everybody. So I was up at the crack of dawn this morning. So I was at the crack of dawn this morning. So yeah, they're the plans for today. I'm going to drink my cup of tea and try and feel more alive and then start getting sorted for the day. I honestly cannot believe this weather right now. It's raining. It didn't show up on my phone. It showed that it was supposed to be cloudy, but it still hides in 18. But it's currently absolutely chucking it down. Where is this heat wave gone? I think the weather is literally going to change now for the rest of the week if we've had rain today, which is annoying, but it is what it is. So I'm currently sorting the kids' breakfast out. I'll do mine 
after they've all been fed while he's just having some porridge but I was supposed to be catching the bus over with my sister but I think it's going to be easier for me to just drive and meet them there just because obviously if I go on the bus with it raining my nan has like my nan lives in a dainty little cottage in the countryside so there isn't going to be much room for the push chair especially if it's soaking wet and I can't leave it outside either because the push chair well, there's parts of the push chair that will get soaking wet and then the kids won't be able to go in there so I said it's probably going to be easier for me to drive over and then catch the bus but I'll leave at the same time the bus leaves and I'll meet them over there and then come back at the same time so change of plans there I'm hoping it doesn't last very long like I don't understand what's going on right now but yeah gonna sort breakfast for the kids get them sorted then I can sort my breakfast out by that time summer should be somewhat home I'll see whether she's eaten or not and then if she hasn't do her some breakfast but we're just kind of having a very slow morning I mean it is only quarter to nine so and I'm still not dressed like I still look an absolute hot mess but this is still pretty normal for me this is how you see me but yeah sorting breakfast and then hopefully get my bum into gear and get moving for breakfast i've just gone for avocado and poached eggs on toast normally i'd have like a fancy bread like a sourdough bread or a tiger bread but we didn't have any so i've just had to settle for normal toast i think i may have overdone this egg here but again no biggie and i've actually cheated and i've used the already smashed avocado because the last couple of times i've gone to get like proper avocados like whole avocados they've just not been ripe enough to use so this is today's breakfast. Honestly, breakfast time for me is like food and two baby birds at the same time. <clears throat> Don't get to eat breakfast in peace anymore. This is why I normally hide away in the kitchen. Um, it only used to be Penelope. It used to bug me, but now that Lennox is obviously eating solids as well, he's always coming over to find what i've got on my plate but obviously with him having his milk allergy there's certain things that he can't have but luckily he could have a bit of the egg and a bit of the avocado he absolutely loves avocado nelly's slightly gone off it now so she wasn't too fussed about pestering me too much but my breakfast times are not done in peace i can't enjoy food to myself anymore yeah, got good she actually came home at like what time did she get home um uh, 9 30. yeah it was later than that yeah well, anyway, she got home between like half nine and ten. That's hot. Um, and we are now heading off to my nan's. <laughs> now that we've got summer home. Oh, can you lift that up? Oh, sorry. sorry. Um, yeah, so we're heading off to my nan's now. My sister should be at the bus stop. Their bus, well, they should be on their way now, actually, because it is 38 minutes past and their bus was at 12, 36. Six something like that so they should actually be already there so well not already there but really on their way is what i meant to say we won't just get there in two minutes but we've all been fed feeding time at the zoo was a success we've all been fed so we're now just off to that might be their bus now off to my nan's hopefully the two little ones taken up i think someone had a nice time on holiday i did actually did you have a nice time um, yeah, what tan line on my foot? What tan line on your foot? Tan line on my foot. Oh, are they there? Is that, is that I'm not sure what bus that is, but they should be on the bus. Um, they won't be already on But yeah, she had a nice time on holiday anyway. And like I said, yeah, we're heading over to my grandparents to spend a couple of hours with them. I think my sister is actually having a haircut, which is kind of like the whole reason for us going over, I think. And then 
I think her bus back is at like 25 to 5, I think. Don't know whether we'll stay there that whole time. Kind of just depends. I'd feel like I can't really leave her, which is fine. And then I've got to come home. I'll show you what I picked up yesterday. It's all just cleaning stuff. <laughs> Pretty boring, but I'll show you that because I literally have like an obsession at the moment with cleaning stuff. Like it's stuff that we need, but just have an obsession and I do actually have to whip the hoover around because the kids had a meringue nest and they got it everywhere and I've cleaned up most of it but I've just got to whip the hoover around very very quickly and then after that I'm not sure whether James is working tonight they did ask him to work Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday but I guess he'll just have to wait and see see if they ring him tonight and then yeah probably not much planned for the evening but that's kind of the plans where probably just chill yeah probably just chill out see have tea don't know what I'm going to have tea I can guarantee you now when we get to my nan's she'll be trying to force feed us stuff that we don't actually want which is typical of my nan I think that's just an old person thing though isn't it like she's not old is she <laughs> no but like even like other grandparents they always say oh do you want a bit of this no thank you oh go on you know you want to don't they and then, you feel, on, then, you, then you feel like then you kind of feel like you have to yeah. So I can guarantee that. But yeah, heading over to the grandparents. Hence why we never normally go to the house. <laughs> no, we just they're just always busy, aren't they? Um but yeah, heading over there now, so I'll probably check back in with you maybe whilst we're there, depending. May go up the garden but it is a little bit cold, so I'm not sure whether we will, but if we do I will show you their garden because their garden is absolutely massive, like where they live. It's so beautiful. Look at that bird. Thank you. <laughs> That's a bird of prey. Yeah, it's a bird of prey. Because um, they just hover, getting ready to get their lunch. Um, yeah, so if we end up getting up the garden, I will show you because their garden is beautiful. They literally live, well, I can't really say the countryside anymore because like everywhere else, they are literally building houses upon houses upon houses everywhere. So, but it's still really cute where they live because they kind of live slightly further away from all those kind of buildings and stuff but I will show you when we get there. back from my grandparents we literally just had a little bit of lunch and then we just kind of chilled up in the garden it was very windy and very cold but it gave the kids time to kind of just run around run free Nelly was literally like beheading all the flowers and stuff but she also had three accidents whilst we were there every single time she made her nose or her mouth bleed so that was generally more so because she was tired because she didn't really nap so I was like right it's time to go I've got to get these kids home so we are now home and I thought whilst we were home I could show you the little bits that I picked up yesterday so obviously like I said earlier absolutely obsessed with buying cleaning stuff at the moment but it is kind of the stuff that we need and so I thought I'd show you what I picked up from the power shop yesterday all pretty boring not gonna lie but picked up some toothpaste because obviously we were nearly out and I desperately needed some toothpaste I'm looking all a little bit disheveled now like running around after the kids you kind of always do then I just picked up some sif so I use this to do all my bathrooms ovens hobs like everything kind of like the stainless steel stuff I use it on everything obviously my bath's not stainless steel but it's the only thing that seems to get like water marks out so picked up that in the lemon scent because I love that I then picked up the Glade Shake and Vax, Vax, Vac. Um, I used to use this in the flat and then I stopped using it for a little while. But if you know, you know. So with having kids, things get spilled, get sick, like those odors that tend to linger for a little while. So I'm hoping this is gonna help a little bit with the smell 
of like the sofa and the carpets. I mean, they're not actually too bad. We've been keeping on top of it. This is the Lily of the Valley. Normally I'd buy the lemon scent. I've got a thing with lemon, but picked up this. This is £1.50 from the pound shop and so was that. Um, toothpaste was a pound. And then I also picked up some more antibacterial multi-surface cleaner by Fabulosa. Absolutely love Fabulosa. It's the only scent that seemed to last like so long in my household. Don't know why. Um, I have the Scarlet Rose one, nearly empty, so I thought I'd pick up this one, which is the Georgia Peach. So I'm excited to give that a go. That was only a pound. I absolutely love Fabulosa, but I have got some washing up to do from dinner time before we left. Actually, I thought I'd show you as well my tomatoes and my coriander. Like, they're growing so well. Like, I thought they weren't going to get anywhere, but they are, and some of them are going to have to be transported out of my little pot and into the garden into grow bags just so that they've got more room because I think there's about 30 plants in here and I'm going to kind of have to try and section them off so I'm going to show you so this is my tomatoes it's a fly which is really annoying but yeah we kind of just chucked all the seeds in not realizing that um they will now become like individual plants so this side seems to be doing better than this side but that's fine so i think some of these are gonna have to be taken out and put into the grow bags and then this is my coriander like i am so excited it's getting pretty bushy this is probably gonna have to go into a bigger pot as well we just started them off in smaller pots just so we could see whether or not they would make any progress or not and they have so they're both gonna have to be moved to bigger pots but they're doing really well and it smells so nice as well but I'm going to crack on with the washing up. We are literally not going to be doing much more today. Like, I feel like this vlog is going to be very like choppy and not really much going on. But at the same time, I really do hope that you have enjoyed today's video. I'm probably going to end the video here just because I'm literally not doing anything else now. And I don't really have much more to show you. I'm not that I've had much to show you during this vlog anyway. Kids are pretty grumpy. And obviously I've got to sort tea out. So... Yeah, that's going to go ahead and conclude today's vlog. If you did enjoy, please smash the thumbs up and also click the subscribe button. And I'll see you in a brand new video very, very soon. Bye, guys.